pop that link in there from your broker. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create lead ads on Facebook that convert like crazy. So if you're a real estate agent, stick around because I'm going to tell you the best trick methods and practices in order to get the highest converting Facebook ads. Pay close attention and I'll see you there. Here we are. So right here is if you just go to business.facebook.com and then select your ads account, you'll be here. So we're gonna go ahead and start from scratch, create ad, and like I said, we're gonna be focusing on lead generation. So lead generation is just simple. It has a built-in uh, lead form on Facebook. So instead of, you know, where they go to your website with a landing page, this is directly on Facebook. And when they click it, it imports the information that they already have saved on their Facebook profile. So it is more likely to be accurate just because it's automatic and it's easy, but it is also possible that they have outdated or inaccurate information on their account. So there will always be a few leads that aren't, you know, all the way there, but you know, these are very inexpensive leads on Facebook. So I definitely recommend you do it. Then you just have to have really good follow up and you'll be able to close some deals. Okay, so since this is real estate, we can go new campaign. So let's say you're going to offer, you know, I have a video about lead magnets. I'll put a link below so you can see some examples of some lead magnets. But I'm just going to do list of homes for this one. Since you're in real estate, always select ads for real estate listings. Even though maybe it's not technically a listing, still select housing because it's housing related and you don't want to get in trouble from Facebook where they ban your account, then that's a whole nother world of problems. Okay, so don't worry about any of the campaign, cam uh, campaign details, A-B test, or optimization. Just go ahead and click next. Okay, so now as you can see here, for $20 a day, uh, Instant Forms is the form. Choose your page, which is just Brett Mugford. You select your real estate page, right? And now budget and schedule. So as you can see on the right hand side over here, it has estimated leads. But if you do what I'm going to tell you, you're actually this is pretty much like based on the average. So if you make a better than average ad, you can get significantly more leads or you can get none at all. It all depends on the quality of your ad. And I'll just tell you, like I said, trick is I like to, there's a couple of elements that you should really include, which is authority. And this doesn't have to all be in one ad, it can be in your follow up, but basically you wanna have a hook, an offer, a reason for them to stop and look. And once they've stopped and looked, you know, make sure you have, so a hook to stop them on their feed, an offer, which is like, wow, I really want that information or that data or whatever it is and then you can get them into your funnel and then from there you can kind of start to build your authority as an expert which by the way great book is called expert secrets you should check that one out so daily budget twenty dollars a day is pretty good you can also go as low as five i think is the lowest maybe even lower now i'm not sure and start date so if you select a start date this will be twenty dollars daily budget forever so unless you manually come in here and cancel it it'll be twenty dollars every single day so if you're just getting started out I recommend you set like an end date for something like a week later today is May 14th so let's say the 21st and then I just have one week uh, at twenty dollars a day which is enough time to see enough results and decide okay is this ad converting well am I happy with the results or not and if not you can come back and change it okay so custom audiences, I'm not going to get into that in this video, but with the special ad category, you cannot select by age or gender, but it's very important that you do select your city. Oh, right here, location. So Canada, we don't want all of Canada or all of the US, wherever you are. So you want to click X on that, get rid of it, and then you can select whatever location you're in. So for me, that's Edmonton here. Because of the special ad category, you can't. You can have a, a minimum of a 15 mile radius, so that's a pretty big radius. But that's fine because, you know, we serve all that area, and the majority of the people are closer towards the middle here. So, that's fine. If there are some leads that come way further out where I don't serve, maybe you can give that to one of your colleagues and get a referral fee. So, leads are leads. You know, you want leads. Leads are the good stuff. 
if you're in the US, demographics, interests, or behaviors. So in there, you can put in stuff like maybe they're interested in Zillow, Realtor, maybe they're interested in real estate. And also I'd go on here and I'd select manual placements because automatic is just gonna place it all over the place. We're only creating one ad with a picture. So for that, we're gonna select manual placements. Audience placements would be like third party things where they are just showing Instagram. You wanna get rid of that because that would be like in apps and a little uh, thing at the bottom of an app, you know, Instagram. We're not doing Instagram right now, just Facebook. Okay, so all this off, we don't want in article. We don't want in search. We don't want in stream unless perhaps it was a video, that'd be good stories so you don't want this to show up in a st we're gonna just creating a picture ad and as you can see on the right here we recommend full screen vertical we're not doing that today so do not select facebook stories we're only doing within the facebook feed so get rid of video columns marketplace is good news feed is good and you can even test instagram feed if you want i wouldn't recommend it because keyword is all about audiences you have to know your audience and you have to have a hook and offer that's relevant to that audience so then click next that's the targeting and now it takes us to the ad so right here is a single image or video so what you can do is create ad single image or video or carousel if you wanted to have multiple so if you're doing a lead ad that's for example uh, you know information on your listings you can actually select as you can see right here carousel cards one two three cards and you can have a different headline description and URL for each so if you have a few listings you can add the you know hero shot of each image a little description of it and the URL and you can have all your listings in one ad or you can even talk to your brokerage and get the best deals and put those just to generate leads take them to look at that property and then they become your lead and hopefully your buyer on that property or even another one so in the picture here for I would just recommend a single image to keep it super simple and let's say we're gonna do our lead magnet is gonna be a free list of homes. So let's say it's a free list of homes. I know most brokerages will have some sort of website where you actually have the IDX feed. So just as an example here, I'll show you realtor.ca and it would be something similar. So I don't know, let's just go Toronto. And then you can maybe go, you know, s narrow it down to your specific neighborhood. You can go max price, something like 350. And then it'll bring up this list. Okay, and now if we were to sort this just by the list, you'd see we have a list here. So do this on your own brokerage website, and then you can just, you know, cop. I wouldn't do it on realtor.c. I'd probably do it on your own website because that's a little bit more in line with your brand. It'll keep them in the same kind of sphere and get familiar with you. But on your own brokerage's website, just do something like that and then copy the link because it has all the stuff in there. And then when you're creating this ad, this is what you're going to want to use as later on. I'll show you in this form here, okay? So primary text could be just something like free list of homes in Edmonton under 350k, right? You can put a couple of emojis in there to make it really engaging. Same thing with the headline. You can put something like Download your free guide now, then you can have an emoji pointing to the sign up button, which we're gonna change to download. The description doesn't show up on uh, newsfeed or that this is more for other stuff, so don't worry about that. But display link right where it says form on Facebook, you can do whatever the website you're taking them to is. So let's say it's on your own website or your brokerage website. Once I click away, it'll show up there where it says form just takes a second and then create a form so 
we're gonna do more volume. Intro, get rid of the intro, remove the greeting to keep it super straightforward. Questions are now, of course, email, full name. You can add phone number if they're in there if you want. Like I said, it's auto-populated. And make sure you have a message, so just put something like, please confirm your info. The list of homes, something like that, right? Privacy, then same thing, go on your brokerage website or your website and just copy and paste the link to your privacy policy. And then upon completion, this is where we put in that website from earlier. Thanks, you're all set. You can now download the list. And then you can make this down here called to action button. Oh, you can make it download. And then you can go and you know make, make it capital so it looks nice click here to download the list of homes boom right then you just pop that link in there from your brokerage or your own website hit publish and of course you need the privacy policy in there but once you do that it'll all be good to go about the image make the image something interesting so it could be super simple don't make it look like an ad make it look like something they'd see in their feed so it could even be you know some people a couple standing in front of the home like they just bought the home it'll look interesting like maybe one of their friends just bought a home and then they're gonna stop and look and see who is it then you kind of get them with your ad so that's a good hook or you can simply just have a picture of a really great looking listing from your brokerage or your own and put that there anything eye-catching you know you don't have to overthink it keep it simple and just take action cuz doesn't have to be perfect uh, as long as you take action because perfect never gets done. Okay, so now click right here to watch the video about lead magnets, different things you can put in your ads, or click over here to watch how to create retargeting ads and automatically follow up with all those people that you've now got into your traffic, into your funnel automatically for pennies, even fractions of a penny per impression, and I'll see you there.